Hello everybody, and welcome back to Fire Emblem 3. We're on to chapter 17 now, Night Filled Sky. Medon is Minerva and Maria's homeland. It is the birthland of flying dragons, and is widely known for being a peaceful and rich kingdom. But the ambitious Prince Michaelis ignored his sister's opposition and aided Deluna with its ambitions. He led the Medonian dragons to attack numerous countries, instill fear in the people, and right now, he has gathered his soaring army to fight a final battle with Marth. Okay, so be it. I hope he won't be as tough as Camus was. I did later find out I was supposed to use that miracle sword, but... I double-checked, and for some reason, Marth still can't use it. It apparently only has a weapon level of 12, but... I don't know what's up. Like, Marth has a weapon level of 11, so that would make sense. But how about, like, Olgma? 19? Yeah, he should have been able to use it. Weapon level 17. Yeah, I don't know what's up. Maybe I just didn't pass it away from Marth. Because I figured, you know, Marth's freaking level 20. He should be able to use any sword. Okay, anyway. Ogma, Navarl, Wendell, George. Uh, I think archers are going to be really important in this battle. But luckily, I have three very strong archers. Okay, yeah, Shido will be good. Let's see, is there anyone for me to recruit in this battle? I don't think so. I think it's just a straight on battle. With his dudes. Oh, Tiki might be useful here. Because I'm fighting lots of these dragons. Also, I haven't really used her yet, so it'd be good to get her some experience somewhere. Okay. Yeah, Abel, Cain. Um, let's see, who else would be really good here? I'll have five left, huh? Drog could be useful. Okay. Gordon. Yeah, Gordon. That's right. I got Gordon level 20. I never promoted him. He should be able to promote to Sniper now. Jake and Harden. Okay, let's bring in Tiki for the first time. Although her health is so low, it's kind of dangerous. But she's a really strong character. I just have to make sure to protect her. I'll bring in Lorenz for extra defense. I'd like to use these Pegasus Knights, but it's a little bit late for me to train them. Alright, I got room for one more. Who's this? Tomas? I don't remember you at all. Um, yeah, okay. Land to be fine. Alright, give it a save. Give us a quick save. And then let's begin. Goto, the allied army has come. This place is going to become a battlefield. Please leave to safety. Oh, Mikolas is actually nice in this one. Hmm, I understand. But Mikolas, you truly are a fool. Why did you call me a fool? You love Minerva, and she deeply respects you. Since you were young, you two both discussed the future of this country and much effort into both martial arts and study. With your combined strength, Medon would eventually become as strong a country as Akania. Akania, I don't know what it is. However, you let yourself be deceived by Garneth, becoming obsessed with pointless ambition, which would lead this country down the path of ruin. That's already in the past. Minerva betrayed me and betrayed this country. But Goto, I haven't lost yet. I still have the Medonian royal family's treasured Iot's shield. With this, I needn't fear even arrows. Oh, great, he's got something. That boy, I will personally slay Altia's Marth for you to see. That is my final will as King of Medon. Really? Then I have nothing more to say. Go, Miklas! Go and punish yourself for the crime of killing your own father. Okay. Um... Okay, so flyers can't get past those walls. Blocked, blocked, blocked. Okay, so they are kind of stuck in there until I come out for them. Although they have the movement to just kind of, you know, move all over. Alright, but we got this thief here. Doesn't have much movement, but if he gets to that village, I mean, it's game over. So, can't let that happen. Huh? What's this village you gotta tell me? It seems that a great bishop resides at the northern village, but he doesn't like humans, so he doesn't speak with anybody. Yeah, I know that. Uh, 
Okay, let's get out in front of this thing. <laughs> oh, Gordon, I can, uh, I can level you up. Let's move Martha a little bit first. Not level him up, I can promote Gordon. Let's do that. My one death, who I kind of let stick, sort of, will now be redeemed, possibly. Let's see. Dorky, no, 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 no. There it is. Orion. Blah, blah, blah. Is it, isn't it like Orion's belt? Anyway. Become a sniper, I believe. Bum, 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 bum. I'm not following the music. Sweet. Yep, lots of improvements there. Gordon will be pretty tough now. Now, how, how do mana keeps work? Wow. Wow, she looks slow. Yeah, just become a... For, okay, become a dragon. And does it, like, last? Is she going to have way more HP now? So, like, is she different now? Yeah, she's 32 health now. Okay. I wonder how that functions. Is it, like, mounting or what? Does it have a time limit? I need a dragon tutorial. <coughs> One more move, and then we pass. Now we see how these guys are going to handle themselves. Okay, so I checked uh, Serenus Forest, and there's nothing, no one left for me to recruit. The only one that'll be recruited is just gonna happen automatically. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I have to escape the gates, and then they can go over the mountains and stuff. So we're gonna have a little skirmish in the forest here on the east. And then we'll continue along. Yeah, they're all physical attackers, so formations are going to make this really simple. Oh, he's moving his whole army out. Okay, let's see. Steel, silver, steel... Silver, Javelin. Okay, the Pegasus Knights have Javelins. Good to know. Glad I checked. Okay, only a few ranged attackers, really. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, she can fly now, too. Okay, they are going to be here pretty fast, so I don't even have to move too much. But I can bring it down to... Pretty tight thing, so that they all can't really attack me at once. They're not very good at moving their people correctly. So, like, they'll make it so their, um... You know, their melee attackers are in the way of where their ranged attackers would want to be. Shit like that happens all the time to AI. strange because this is only half of the game and I know the other half is better by the way if you take issue with any of my complaints so far know that I'll be much happier in the future um but yeah it's it's a little bit disappointing because I see the AI issues and I'm like ah I, this is only half the game they're not gonna go away hmm Seems like that thief can get there in like two turns. I don't have warping anymore. Oh, 
Oh god, I should just speed up the enemy turn because they have so many soldiers to move. Normally they're not all charging like this. Let's see, how am I supposed to get that, that thief and prevent him from getting to the village? Yeah, he'll, be, he'll get there in like at least two turns. Maybe three if like the forest really slows him down somehow. I'm gonna have to fight here for a bit. I don't know, that's really strange. Now, supposedly this will be really good against dragons. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Only 10 experience, huh? I guess she didn't get the kill. Nice. Eh, both my paladins are level one. Gonna have lots of company next turn. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so he can use the Miracle Sword. Alright, I have no idea how this is going to play out next turn. Probably horrible stuff's going to happen. But I got everyone connected, at least. Actually, the far right square can't be walked on, so it kind of forms a wall of its own. Come along, Gordon. Alright. Here goes nothing. Going after Sheeta? Okay. Oh, it's Mikolas. Damn you, Minerva. I'm not Minerva. I still haven't lost. I'll show you to fear the Medonian Dragoons. 30 damage. Wow, he hits really hard. Does he double hit? Oh, Sheeta got double hit on him. Okay. Let's see. Pegasus Knight could throw at Sheeta. Uh, might be too far away for even them, though. They'd have to travel like nine squares. Uh, Thief might take two turns to get there. But still, I have to fight through all of these guys in order to stop him. What's the idea there? I don't I don't get it. Let's see, eleven attack. Okay. I expected an attack to come, but I didn't think they'd be able to double him, so that's good. Good, so far they've been splitting off their attacks. Very nice. She's not quite fast yet, so that doesn't give anyone another chance to attack her. So far going well, mostly. Don't kill him now. Damn it. I mean, he'd have to get another critical for it to be really dangerous for him. Oh, all that's left is the javelin throwers. I bet for some reason their javelins are like super good. Oh, really low chance to hit. Good, okay. That's, that's one danger death there. Oh, this is the first time he's being attacked. Another really low chance to hit. Oh, good. Okay, their javelins suck just as much as they do for me. Fantastic. Yep, 39%. I mean, it could still hit, but it'll do 5 damage. Okay, these guys aren't much of a problem. The problem is that fucking thief. I still don't know what I'm going to do there.
Maybe they don't burn down the villages like they do in Fire Emblem 1. I don't know. I think they do. Anyway, Nicholas was saying something about his fancy schmancy Iod shield, so... I guess it's useless to try to attack him. Let's just get Marth there. Marth's a strong guy. He might be able to get there in time. Not if the thief has a single turn, then. I'll have to restart the battle if that happens. Single turn of arriving. Nah, no, I have two turns. I think there's a chance Marth might live through that. Priority one is stop the thieves, though. Okay, Nabarro can probably kill Miklas. Although, now nah, Miklas is, is riding, so he doesn't have any uh, additional... Okay, Miracle Sword. Miklas doesn't have any additional um, dodge. Yeah. 20 damage. 19. 20. Okay, and Miklas is down. Yeah, that Miracle Sword is strong. And Nabarro gets his Iot Shield. My dreams have been shattered. Forgive me, citizens of Midon. Yeah, he's way more sympathetic. <laughs> okay. Let's just worry about the dragons. I'm none too concerned about these uh, Pegasus Riders. They can barely hit and their damage sucks. Let's see. Yeah, use a silver spear. Okay, so these are just cavaliers, so they're not strong either. So I can totally let them just run at Marth. I think it'll be fine. They might kill themselves, and maybe? I mean, Marth has crazy movement, so if I clear the way, he might be able to get through them. Let's see. Okay, Sheeta needs that healing. Let's see. Staff. Mend. Let's see, 20. Okay, this one will do. Good healing for her. That brings her back to full. Sweet. Okay, Ogma. You can Leaven Sword. Oh, but they're, uh, that's right, they're Pegasus Knights. So this won't do very much at all. I forgot, Pegasus Knights have crazy good, uh, Defense against magic attack. Well, 8 damage is 8 damage. At least he did something. Let's see, how about you? Can you get there? Yes, you can. Thank God your paladins. Okay, silver spear. Okay. All bows and arrows are out of the way. And he had a silver. I took a silver. Oh, okay. Silver bow. Put that into storage. Okay, I think we're safe from the thief. He's not going to get there in time. And all in all, things went pretty well. Tiki will finally get kill experience. Fantastic. And I got a Dragon Whip from that enemy. Nice. Uh, I don't really have any other Pegasus Knights that I raised in this run, though. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Uh, nah, let's not use it. Let's save that for someone who deserves it other than these weak-ass Pegasus Knights. I'll do 15 damage to him. Yeah, she should be able to kill them. Very good. Okay. Okay, I'll let Gordon get a kill. Go, Gordon! Do stuff! I'm so excited. Gordon's gonna kill something in the late game. Oh man! Ha <laughs> ha! 
There you go. Atta boy, Gordon. Atta boy. Mr. Man. I don't think his generals are gonna get there, but, you know, whatever. Oh, wait, who's guarding this? Oh, just a random dragoon? With a steel spear, of all things? Man. Alright, I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> this battle is going quickly. I mean, the the enemy base can get reinforcements, but I'm not, not really too concerned about it. Okay, Cavaliers, you need to kill yourselves on my stuff. Alright, so he's gonna do 7 damage here. Or 0. <laughs> this is a good day for Fire Emblem. <laughs> I probably would have been this happy if I just used the freaking Miracle Sword last time, or the Mer Mercurious Sword, whatever it's called in this one. I don't know, I just, I was, I was shocked. I didn't bother to run the numbers, because I'm not used to checking web le weapon levels. Because it just seems like, you know, whenever I give a weapon to someone, they can just use it, so I kind of forget about that system. My fault, all in all. Okay, there's one of the Cavaliers out of my way. And if Marth can't get there, Sheeta, I think, is close enough to fly past. Another Cavalier down. This is going very well. Beautiful. Fantastic. Oh, man. Oh, please tell me Marth can get there. Yeah, he walks right in the fucking door. Ah, ha, ha. Alright, kill this guy first. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Love it. Oh, they're already playing the U1 music. Okay, uh, Gordon, get yourself another kill, bro. <laughs> Things aren't over, though. I gotta get to those forts before they get occupied. Before I have reinforcements and shit. Let's see. Kane, Abel. Both of them are kind of hurt, so... Let's get someone heal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, does she not have any heal spells? Oh, that's my bad. Alright. Let's see. Item trade to George. Here. Heal. Yeah, just give her heal. Alright, George, pass it along. Trade with... No, with Lind. Give her that. Okay. Okay. Now we can do this. Move along, mosey on up, and heal Kane. His health is awful, awful low. Let's see, who do I who do I like more, Kane or Abel? Kane, Abel. Kane looks pretty cool. I think he'll take that item robe from uh, angel robe from Marth. Trade with Marth. Yeah. There we go. Some health for you would be good. You have a vulnerary, don't you? Yeah, okay. I actually didn't have to do all that business. I could just have them use a little potion or whatever it is on themselves. That's why I loaded everyone with them. Okay, Caster, are you injured? Yeah, he is. Do you have a vulnerary? Probably. Yeah, I'm so good at this. <laughs> nice. Alright, Sheeta. Sheeta's health is fine, probably. Unless suddenly an uh, archer pops out, I wouldn't put it past them. So Tiki has 18 uses on that... Ah, uh, okay. But then she stays a dragon for... So far, it's lasted this whole battle. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That's cool, that means she can just be instantly used. Don't have to level up her up or anything. Yeah, I should have been using Bantu then. <laughs> never bothered with him because he was pretty bad, really, really bad, in Fire Emblem 1. Moving on up, 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 Lorenz, you're only here, although I don't think I moved you last turn. Okay, no reinforcements yet. Trade. 
Let's use that vulnery on ourselves. Nice. Alright, we're almost ready to invade here, but I gotta make a kind of strong front first. Go along, wolf. I'm really glad I raised you up. You've been super useful. Caster, too. And there's stuff over here. Shops. And... Eh, four shops. Okay. Okay, who's this over here? Kane. Yeah, he's good. Item use. Yeah, use that vulnerability on yourself. Okay, let's go ahead and do this, this thing. Alright, let's take out those spheres that I got from the Raman place. Light sphere, star sphere. And... Oh, shit! Ah, oh, wrong button. Oh, well. <laughs> Whoopsies. You'll get there someday. Ah, I should just leave them behind. They're not gonna get anywhere. Or not. I'm gonna keep believing in them. Believing in the dream. Save the rebellion, save the dream. You know how it goes. Okay. Okay. Got one. Put Sheeta in there with you. Two. Three. Four. Five. I think we have enough people to take all these places next turn. I just gotta hope that four people don't suddenly show up on my doorstep. Nice, Ogma. Alright, Lind, can you heal Navarre? Ah, shit. Oh, my placement's not the best. Okay, Marth, let's do this right. Okay, there we go. Ah, Lord Marth, I'm Goto. Welcome here. Okay. Really? You fulfilled our promise and brought both the Star Sphere and Light Sphere here? Excellent. Then I can create the only spell that can penetrate Imhulu, Starlight. Very well. Take this and use it to defeat the evil priest Garnif. Starlit obtained. All right, and Lind is going to be the wielder of Starlit. I guess that's what I'll call this episode, The Forging of Starlit. There we go. It's already titled that. Oh, sweet. No reinforcements, which means that... Uh, let's start with these guys out here. Ah, Tiki's not close enough. Oh, she can get there, though. Alright, she just got this one. Tiki's got this one. The only thing I don't like about Tiki is she's so slow when she's moving. Alright, Wolf has this one, just near enough. No, how about you? No? How about you? Yes, okay. We good! Nice. Alright, Marth, you can go shopping over here. This battle's done. Who wants experience? Free experience in there. Kill those two bishops. Gordon? <laughs> I'll let Gordon I'll let Gordon murder everyone inside the town. Do it, Gordon. You violent man. Right, let's move Lind up first. Time to give her starlit. Okay. Trade you for the most powerful spell in existence. Wait, it's not there. Oh, it's a weapon. That's right. Trade with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. is just a crap spell that I put in there. Okay. I think we're good. Uh, 
Okay. Navar can help me shopping, just so I don't have to waste turns. Looking at each one. Go on, Gordon, to your destiny. Okay, what do we got in here? Shop. Anything good? Armory for the supply. Steel. Nope. Iron and steel stuff. Eh. I know it can be good for, like, if you want to make sure you double attack on someone. But I'm not too interested. Oh, I can use one turn to check all the shops. That's nice. There are some genuinely smart improvements here. My opinion is not as high on this game as it was on, on Fire Emblem 2. Which I know is just crazy to people. But, uh... Yeah. Okay, let's see. Shop. What we got here? This is a vendor. What do you want to do? Who do you want to buy it for? Uh, okay. Door key. No, I, gotta, I already stocked up on those. Although I could probably buy some more, um... Vulneries, perhaps. What's the other one sell? This is a vendor. What do you want to do? Who do you want to buy it for? Who would you like? Okay. Alright. Spells. Heal. Recover. I'll take some heals and recovers, please. Take a few of those. from my massive, massive treasury. Uh, that's probably fine. I had way better spells at the, um, secret shop. Okay. Gordon, you ready? Almost. Physic. Physic. Just a steel spear, huh? That's so funny. Okay, one more at the armory, right? Hold on. Trade with you. You get this Iod shield, man. I should give that to Sheeta. Then she won't have to worry about arrows. Alright, anyway, what's at this shop? This is the armory. What do you want to do? Uh, okay. I didn't actually see. Okay, Worm Slayer, Silver Sword, Rider Bane, Silver Spear, Silver Bows. I think I'm good on weapons. But, um... I think Navarre himself needs another, let's see, Silver, Worm Slayer, Levin. He could get a new Worm Slayer and could sell off his. Sell, Weapon, sell this Worm Slayer, yeah. And also the Silver Sword, I'll take a new one of that. Alright, uh, yeah, I want to buy, there we go. Alright, Worm Slayer for you. And silver sword for you. Very good. Nah, done. Marth. No, no. Marth could use some new weapons, honestly. <laughs> okay, let's see. Weapon trade with you. Alright, I'll take your nice Levin Sword, I'll take your nice Silver Sword, and uh, I'll swap out that Devil Sword for the Worm Slayer. Although soon enough Marth will have the Falchion, so it won't matter. Let's see, sell this Levin Sword, yeah. And sell this Silver Sword. Sorry this is just item management, but that's part of this game. That's what this game is. Alright, Worm Slayer. Silver Sword. Yeah. I kind of want to get Og... I feel like Ogma doesn't have the best weapons right now. Let's see. How you doing, man? He has a Worm Slayer, Silver Sword, Armor Sword. Ah, I guess he's okay. Oh, uh, I, I told... I said uh, Gordon was going to go on his ramp. Maybe... I, no, wait. Maybe I should have Tiki kill them. You know, she... Wait, she's back to a mana key. When did that happen? <laughs> I totally missed that. Nah, I'll give Gordon the experience. Strong archers. They take a while to level up, but then they really pay off in the long run. When you can just do so much damage without putting yourself at risk. It's super good. Oh, sh should I move Marth there? Alright, go Marth. By the way, do I have any, um, 
things. Like improvement things or promotions. No? Oops, I do want you to move. Let's get let's get a physic for her. Store one of these vulneraries and take out a mend. No, no, no! I'm not done. I'm not done. Store the heal and take out. What does recover do? Restores all HP to an ally. Oh, okay. All right, that's just good. Okay. Ah, you're all the way there. That's too bad. You could really use to take some stuff from the storage. Alright, let's try Tiki out on these bishops. <laughs> Just walk across that water, Marth. Like Jesus. Yeah, these bishops can't fight back, right? They have nothing to fight back with? Yeah, they can't. Okay. What happens if Tiki just... Ah, uh, she has to be a dragon in order to attack them. And that it will take away of its durability. Oh, okay, I see, I see. I get it now. Well, I don't want to do that just for a little bit of experience from these bishops. Just give it to Gordon instead. Ah, uh, Gordon can't kill them. Very well, then. I take it back. I've changed my mind. Ah, and she can't attack on the first turn, she becomes a dragon. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I figured they would try to heal the other one. Oh, all the way back to full even, huh. How about that? Alright, well let's have Gordon hit one. And then Tiki will finish it off for that full, juicy experience. I feel like Gordon's still kind of slow if he can't double on these people. <laughs> go, Tiki! Blah! There we go. Yeah, it wouldn't have been enough to kill it, so this is a good system. 40 experience. How are her level ups? Strength once, skill, speed, luck, HP. Yeah, she has good, uh, good growth. Shoot him! There you go. Alright, and Tiki's turn. Blech. 24 damage now. Oh my. Got her 40 experience. Pretty nice. Alright, let's go ahead and finish this battle, everyone. Seize! Prince Marth, I have already found the location of Thebes, to the far north of Cadane, at the Marmotor Desert. What? There appears to be an illusion town. But those who went to Thebes never came back. So, what will you do? I must go there to reclaim the falchion and to rescue my sister. Garnif, watch me. I won't let this beautiful world fall into your hands. Alright, everybody, we did it! <laughs> Without getting all salty, even. This was a fun battle. Alright everyone, see you next time.